Hey guys, I'm John from Legacy Woodworking Machinery, and today we're going to take a walk down to Andy's shop where we're going to get a sneak peek at the 2024 version of the Maverick 4x8 CNC machine. We're going to talk about how automation is a game changer. And the two questions I often get asked, why should I consider CNC, and what makes the Legacy CNC different? Let's go take a walk, see what we can find out. Hey, John. Welcome to my shop. Thank you. Hey, you talk with people all the time about CNC. What is the main reason they give you for looking into a CNC and thinking about buying a CNC? The main three reasons really are speed, accuracy, and efficiency. They just want to be faster, make a little bit more money. That makes a lot of sense. It would seem like if you could make things faster, be more efficient, you can make more profit, or you could be more competitive. Yeah. Do you remember when we visited Fashion Cabinets up in Salt Lake a few years ago? We went through the, the factory, it was fascinating, 50,000 square feet, machines everywhere, because they had a special machine for every single operation, an amazing investment. But they probably made a, a single cabinet box in less than a minute, I would say, collectively, because all those things were happening simultaneously. Yeah. So they could build cabinets super fast. But what does a small guy do, a one-man shop do? You've been in the cabinet shop with people. How does a one-man guy, one-man shop guy do it? He starts at the table saw, starts pushing boards through the table saw. Then he has to cut it the other way. Then he goes to the drill press, and goes all the way through that process, one step at a time. It takes a lot of time. Okay, in, in manufacturing, we call that waterfall manufacturing. Okay. Okay, the other method we often is referred to as a scrum. So mm -hmm. everything's moving lots of things together towards the goal. Whereas waterfall is, I've got to do this step, then I've got to do this step, and I've got to do this step. So what does that have to do with CNC beyond speed, accuracy, and efficiency? The beauty of this, the CNC is it gives me many of the advantages of having that factory full of machinery without the expense. So I've got a small machine here. This will do a four by eight sheet. This okay. is the new 2024 generation uh, of the four by eight. W what's it going to cost me if I lease it? What's it going to cost me per hour? Per hour, it's going to probably cost about $7.50 an hour. Okay. So $7.50, that's less than minimum wage in almost every state in the country. Yeah. Um, so if it's less than minimum wage and I'm sitting there saying, I want to grow my business, mm -hmm. well, there's one of the interesting things to do. So if I want to get away from waterfall, one way to do it is to get an employee That's where he can push stuff through the saw while I'm doing something else. I'll be over spraying and he'll be pushing stuff through the saw. I want to be more efficient. Well, I hire another employee that stands in front of the drill press and then yeah. he's going to drill, he's going to saw, I'm going to spray. And I might even get more efficient by saying, Hey, let's hire a guy to do all the assembly. Now we're more like that factory, but I've also have four employees. What's an average employee cost today? From, from what I've been told by all of my clients that I talk to every day, it starts at about $25 an hour and only goes up from there for a skilled employee. For a skilled employee, 25 bucks an hour, or about four times, am I doing the math right? Just about four times more than the cost of this machine. Yep. The alternative is to employees is, what about this machine? Well, when it's cutting a cabinet part, will it do the drilling? It will. Will it cut the pockets for my hinges? Most definitely. Okay. Will it add screw holes or holes for my, my drawer glides and that sort of stuff? It certainly will. So in other words, this machine is like having four employees. Yeah. But at the cost of one minimum wage guy. The beauty of the machine is when the lease is paid off, and I only lease my machinery because it helps me man manage my cash better. Yep. But when that's paid off, then the machine's free every day. Yes, sir. So that's not a bad thing. So in other words, if I were going back to the employee analogy, uh -huh. when I hire those four guys, wouldn't it be great if one was an expert at inlay? He yes. had that discipline mastered. Be amazing. And wouldn't it be great if one was a really talented carver? Mm -hmm. So if somebody says, I want you to carve this, you know, wild animal from Africa, like, like uh, Ronnie, our, Parrish. Ronnie Parrish, mm -hmm. on the door to my ha home, one of those guys could do that for me. So am I still going to pay 25 bucks an hour for people with that kind of skill set? Definitely not. A good carver is between 45 and 60. Oh, wow. That's a lot of bread. So, John, 
you talk to people every day. They come to you looking for a legacy machine. What's different about a legacy CNC that they might find in Brand X? The clients who come to me are really looking to be the yes man. They want to be able to say yes to any kind of woodworking, be it one day they're a cabinet maker and the next day they're a turner building chairs or tables or any other furniture. Well, I just had a guy this morning say, this replaces my entire workshop. He talked oh, about wow. how he loves the turning. He was really, really excited about being able to build these corbels that he'd been working on for his kitchen. He loves the fact we have a joinery system because he loves the dovetail drawers and really wants to make that high-end kitchen for his own house. I talked to a gentleman about moldings. He, that's all he makes. What he wanted was something that could do curves, swan necks, something more than just a straight line. So that was a really big portion of his business and what he was looking for. Whatever your client wants, we want to have a machine that will do it all for you. So I can see that if I'm a small business, this is going to be a machine that's going to let me say yes to somebody who says, will you come build me a custom kitchen? Sure, I can do that. Mm -hmm. You want to give me a closet organizer? I can do that. I'm really happy because that's my passion is furniture. If somebody comes and says, will you make me some chairs or a table? I get excited about that. But this is a machine I can use for every one of those woodworking disciplines then. Yes, sir. So if we're looking at drawing a conclusion here in this conversation, mm -hmm. what people are looking for when they come to see Legacy or they talk to you about a Legacy machine, they're usually looking for more than just being a factory and making boxes. So they we're going to go beyond box building. Most of those people mm -hmm. want to go beyond box building. They want to be able to say yes to more of their clients because I have a way to automate this. And yeah. again, the automation, yes, we have accuracy, we have speed efficiency, but to me, the thing that always comes back to is I'm the boss. If I can make that machine work while I go do something else, and the most important thing I can do is sell. When I'm selling, somebody comes in, this, in the shop, they want to chat with me, am I getting anything done? If I'm stuck in the waterfall method, everything's waiting on me. Yeah. And that's what we want to be able to eliminate is that waiting. I like the way you talked, especially about that whole, you talk to a client, that's your job. Let the machine do the work while you do the stuff that only you can do. That's where that speed, efficiency, accuracy come into play. Well, I think that if we're going to be competitive in this world, there are lots of just pure boxes being made. Most mm -hmm. of them are being made overseas brought over in big containers. We can't compete with that kind of market, but we really don't want to. If we, if we can look a customer in the eye and tell them, ask them the question, what do you want to see? And tell them, I can do that. Yeah. I'm probably going to close more deals, be happier, maybe even work less hard to make the same kind of money. Probably make a lot more money too. You know, in another video, we probably ought to wrap this up now, but in another video, I want to talk to you about how CNC affects how I price products. And we'll come back to that again in another video. But in the meantime, John, it's been fun to sit and chat. Yeah. And uh, we'll, we'll do some more of this. I'm excited to hear about that. Very interested. All right. Thank you, guys. Thanks. Hey, thanks for watching. That was a great time. If you want to learn more about what a legacy CNC can do for you, check out our website, lwmcnc.com, or give us a quick phone call. 801-491-0010. If you want to watch more videos, take a look at these ones over here. Give us a like, subscribe, and comment in the video. We'd love to hear from you. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you guys in the next one. Take care.